Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do symbols libraries. In Blender, just like Adobe Animate, one of the biggest complaints that I've heard is that Blender doesn't have symbols libraries. And I'm going to show you how maybe you can work around that. Uh, Blender doesn't really have symbols libraries, uh, but we can use the layers as a library to get our stuff you just have to import them it's a little bit more work but we can do it uh, and so let's go ahead and get started check this out I'm gonna open up uh, Adobe Animate this is Adobe Animate one of the biggest differences uh, between Adobe Animate and Blender is the symbols libraries and people love the symbols libraries because they can create different arm positions mouth positions eyes and then save them in the symbols libraries and then have them there to use they don't have to draw everything they have them in the symbols library so check this out this is just a box that i've drawn you know using the box tool with this fill and stroke uh, and it's not a symbol yet. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it and convert to symbol. Let's just call it a box and say OK. And then boom, and it's in my symbols library automatically. It's right there. So if I, let's say I move this and I want another one, I just drag it from the symbols library and it's right there. If you want another one, boom, it's right there. Uh, and so you can see that I can have all my mouth positions, all my mouth shapes, all my arm shapes, my legs, all my, everything that I need for my character. And as I um, animate, I just bring those in, bring those in. I don't have to draw them. I draw them once, create a library for that character, and then I just, you know, load that library, boom, 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 get it uh animated and so blender doesn't have libraries and i've heard a rumor that in blender 3.0 they did come out with a pose library and i'm not sure how it works uh, as as far as i know blender doesn't have a symbols library but it works exactly the same so i'm going to show you how to get it done i'm going to show you how i did it first and then show you how to get it done so check this out i've hidden my libraries here and i've got them stashed in a layer so the mouth here's the mouth and this is the mouth shapes let's go to the layers and you notice that i've got my layer one hidden and that's my symbols those are my symbols for the mouth and then this arm the only thing i animated was this arm so as I select it, I've got my symbols in this layer. So if I need another uh, arm position, I can just grab my symbol and drag it to where I need it, and bam, there it is. So I'm going to show you how I got this done. And, and then I've animated it. Uh, I just hit play. I've animated the mouth, like, you know, like he's talking. And I animated the arm using the symbols. I just go from this to this to this. Not a big deal. I've got them. I've got them drawn right here. I've got them in a library, quote unquote, in a layer that I could just turn off when I get ready to render. Cool. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna stop this. I am going to open up the setup, and here is my startup file. And so you can see that I've already gotten this done. Um, I haven't animated it though. There's no keyframes. Uh, and in fact, I'll play it. Uh, there's no keyframes on this one. All I did was um, bring this in. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And I'm going to delete this. Delete. I am going to open. So you can see this is the arms symbols library. I saved it into a different Blender file so that we can have it and import it wherever I need it. I'm going to open up the other one. This is the mouth positions. I saved it into a different Blender file 
we're going to use this as our library, our symbols library. Let's go ahead and open the uh, file, the setup file. Here's the setup file. I'm going to delete the mouth positions, the mouth uh, shapes. Delete, and I'm going to bring it in, just so you can see how to bring it in. Uh, so we saved the mouth positions in a separate Blender file. So let's go ahead and uh, hit Append, go to the Libraries folder, and then go ahead and append the mouth shapes. This is the Blender file, mouth shapes. Double click on it, go to Object, and here are the mouth shapes. And then here they are. Just going to move them up and then have them here close to the head. That's how you append or bring in a library. So I've got my library right here of, of mouth shapes. All I need to do is start animating. This is the mouth shapes. Here it is. And the layers, I only have one layer, so I'm going to create a new layer. And I'll call this mouth. And this is my library. I can call it library. And so if I go to edit mode on this on this uh, mouth shape object, uh, go to edit mode, I'm on frame one, and I can select this one, copy it, and then paste it into the mouth layer, paste, and then bring it over to where the mouth goes, and there's my first layer. Now. It looks weird, it looks gray, uh, and I'm not exactly sure why that is. If you go to the object mode, it looks fine. So I'm going to go to edit mode. Again, here's my library of mouth shapes. All I have to do is select it, go to edit mode, and I am going to go two more frames to frame three, and I'm going to change it to this mouth. I'm going to copy and paste right into that layer and then move it right into place. We've done this before in the uh, presentation video, the presentation animation video. And, and there it is, two mouth shapes. I'm going to do another one. Five, let's say it goes to this one. I don't have an audio. I don't have any uh, voiceover. But all you have to do is go to the keyframe, select it from your library, uh, copy and paste, and then move it over to its place. Uh, let's do another one, back to uh, 7, let's hit this O, copy and paste, and then put the O right there, and then back to the smile. Oops, this should have been on frame 7. And let's go to 9. Let's go back to the smile. Copy and then paste. And then bring it back into here. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, I've got uh, 10 frames. And there it is. You can lip sync it to the audio. I'm going to turn off the library. Uh, go back to edit mode. I mean, go back to object mode. And I'm going to turn off the the onion skinning just so you don't see it here. But there it is, guys. Uh, if I hit play, let me uh, end this at frame 20 and then hit play. Boom, there it is. You can, you can sync it to the audio. Uh, I did exactly the same to the arm. The arm is here. The arm is here. I've got two layers. The pose and the library. Uh, and there's only one keyframe. Let's go to the edit mode tab. Here's edit mode. If I wanted to change it at frame, let's say at frame seven, all I have to do is select this this symbol, this arm, 
all of its components, hit copy and paste into this layer, paste, oops, copy and paste. You'll see this one turn green because I have onion skinning turned on. And then just move it right into place. And you can see that, that hand go up, just like that. Um, I think I did another one where I did this one, this one. And it's exactly the same. I'm at the frame that I wanted. I am going to copy and paste. You can see this one turned to green because that's the previous frame. And then I could um, place it right where I need it. And then at 18 or 17, it doesn't matter. We'll do the startup hand. Uh, copy paste and then move it into place that's the it's that simple and you can use this layer as your symbols library of course it's not as uh, it's not as uh, as easy as just dragging it here in in animate but you know it's a little workaround and it works just fine so I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna put this in object mode turn off the onion skinning and hit play and you can see how I did that animation um, you can animate the arm you can have all your arm positions you can turn those off when you render uh, and that's how I did it using a symbols library that is not really a symbols library it's just a layer of your symbols and it's right there guys um, it's exactly what I did uh, with this video, I had my library. I just copied all the different mouth positions, put them into place. I put some guides in here just to get that mouth aligned. And that's exactly what I did. So again, um, I hear that Blender is coming out with a pose library in uh, Blender 3.0, but I'm not sure how it's going to work. And I'm not sure if it's going to work for Grease Pencil. In the meantime, we can use this as a library. I'm going to turn on these, um, my symbols library here in Blender, guys. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you on the next one. Thank you, guys.